Hello, Scorpios. Hello to all of the Scorpios out there. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for June 9th to June 15th. I hope you all have enjoyed the weekend. With all that is going on, I am going to be doing your reading for the week of June 9th through June 15th. This reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. So for one more time, and then I will begin your reading. Okay. All right, let's see what Spirit has to say. Spirit, what is the current energy for the sign of Scorpio? What is the current energy for the sign of Scorpio? It's quiet in here. Uh, um, okay, the Six of Cups, the Six of Cups is here, what's influencing this energy, okay, we have the Five of Wands, past energy is the Knight of Swords, And we have the Five of Swords here. Okay. You know I have to straighten out the cards so they so they all of them are visible. Let's go. Okay, overall energy. The nine of swords in the reverse. That's the future energy. Spirit, what is Scorpio's future energy? What is the future energy for the sign of Scorpio? Okay. The Ace of Pentacles. What do you fear? Okay. The Devil card. Capricorn energy is here. This other CU is the Seven of Cups. What are you hoping for? Let's see. Scorpio, what are you hoping for? Spirit, what is Scorpio hoping for? Okay. The Ten of Cups. You're hoping for the Ten of Cups. And let's see what your outcome is. What's the outcome for the sign of Scorpio? Oh, okay. All right, let's see. We have the Ten of Pentacles here as your outcome. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on with you. <clears throat> so, Scorpio, your overall energy is the Six of Cups. Overall energy is the Six of Cups, so with the Six of Cups, you could be connecting with someone from your past, childhood maybe. You could be reminiscing, um, talking a lot or communicating a lot about things from the past because the Six of Cups represents happiness with someone from the past or from your childhood what's influencing this energy is the five of wands so there could have been some type of conflict going on could have been inner conflict or some type of arguing that caused you to you or someone to return back to this um to this union um 
yeah, some type of argument or some type of inner conflict caused this um, Six of Cups or resulted in the Six of Cups. In the past, you had the Knight of Swords. So in the past, someone could have been acting immature, um, coming in quickly with some chaotic energy and with the five of swords, it caused someone to feel like the situation is wasn't going as they planned. But right now, you have the nine of swords in the reverse. So whatever it was keeping you up at night or um causing you to feel um disappointed or some type of anxiety or despair, you're not feeling it anymore. You don't feel that way anymore. So in the future with the Ace of Pentacles, you're going to have a successful new beginning. Could be financially, could be in love. But you're setting out on a new venture, something new. You fear that it's going to be toxic, though, with the double energy being here, Capricorn. You fear that it's going to be toxic. You fear that someone could be manipulating you. Someone could be overindulging in things. And the others see you as having choices. Could have multiple people to pick from, multiple ideas. But you have choices. Or they see you as having choices. You're hoping for the Ten of Cups. You're hoping for a happy family, a happy home. You want to be happy in a home with in a family setting. Your outcome is the Ten of Pentacles. Financial and family stability. Inheritance. You could be inheriting something. A, um, a, a property. Um... Some type of inheritance, though. And it's going to allow you to be st stable. You're going to be stable. It looks like finances are coming, going to be coming in for you, Scorpio. Because that's your outcome. Or because that's your outcome. So, let's pull your partner's energy. See what's going on with your partner. Spirit, okay. Oh, your partner's overall energy is the queen of swords. You could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But this queen of swords, she doesn't take any crap off of anyone, and she will cut you out of her life. She could be waiting for her ships to, she or he. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the queen. That's why I'm saying she. This could be masculine energy or feminine energy. I apologize. This person could be waiting for their ships to come in. This person is waiting on something. Let's see what. What is. Why is the three. The three of wands here. For Scorpio's partner. Why is the three of wands here. For Scorpio's partner. Okay. Let's see what these cards say. The Queen of Cups. They could be waiting on you, Scorpio, because the Queen of Cups is your energy. They could be waiting on you. Or waiting on some type of love. With the King of Pentacles. Someone could be waiting on someone. Someone's waiting on someone. Someone that may have choices. They could be in a relationship. But some someone is waiting on another person. And because there are two queens here and one king. This could be more 
than one person involved, but someone is waiting on another person. But this other person, like the King of Pentacles represents a person that is like a family man, could be prop could be a husband or is a husband, but someone with foundation and they could have been or could be in a long term relationship. Someone is waiting on this person to come in with a message with the page of pentacles. Could be a Leo with the sun card being here. Maybe there was a tower moment. That's a uh, Scorpio. Scorpio and Libra. Yeah, Taurus and Libra energy. Yeah, this person could be in and out of their lives, on and off, a player. But... It looks like your partner or this person that you're dealing with is waiting on this other person. Hmm. Let's see what the outcome is. Spirit, what is the outcome for Scorpio's partner? Someone is waiting on someone else. The outcome is the Empress. Yeah. Yeah. That's Aries energy. Someone is waiting, could be waiting to be nurtured, waiting. This is a mother figure, but someone could be waiting to be nurtured. Someone could be with the page of swords. Someone could be disappointed. There's some disappointment here. They feel stabbed in the back, betrayed, hurt. But they're healing and hoping for a better outcome. They're healing and hoping for a better outcome. And, and this is Aquarius energy with this star. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. The Aquarius, someone is waiting for, someone is healing. Yeah, they're, pour, they're pouring their emotions out or they they pour their emotions out they're healing and hoping for better things to come she's naked in this card so this person poured out their emotions she showed her bare her bare self so let's get your love oracle cards or card. However they come out, that's how I read them. One come out, that's fine. The two come out. However they come out, as long as it's not half the deck. Spirit, can I have a love oracle card for the sign of Scorpio? Can I have a love oracle card for the sign of Scorpio? I like you. It says, <clears throat> someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun flirting, someone wants to date. So, Scorpio, this is you or this is your partner. You you like each other. You may want to go out on a date. But, yeah. That's your reading. So, Scorpio, this is your reading for the week of June 9th. June june 9th to june 15th if this reading resonates with your situation like share if you haven't um subscribed already and you like my energy you like the way i do my readings subscribe hit that notification bell for upcoming videos um i would appreciate it um you know be safe out there I'm sending lots of love, light, peace, and healing energy to you and your family and as well as the world. Um, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Enjoy this upcoming week. Bye.